Hi, welcome to Midnight Snap, an ongoing series of long, soothing Let's Plays designed to help you sleep. I'm Penny. My job as host is to create an environment where you can safely drift off, calm a racing mind, or even just fill an otherwise quiet night with a friendly voice. For the next few hours, you can expect chill gameplay and commentary with no sudden spikes in energy or volume and no mid-roll ads. There's absolutely no pressure to pay attention, no pressure to fall asleep, and no pressure to really do anything but enjoy the vibes. If that sounds at all appealing to you, just keep the show running and feel free to settle in however you like, I'll be here to do the rest. If this is your first time listening, welcome, I hope you enjoy, and if over time you become a regular listener and you find that Midnight Snap helps you in any way, please consider letting me know in the comments and or supporting me through Patreon, which is also where you can find an audio-only version of the show. Audio posts are available to everyone publicly at no charge, but if you choose to support, then you can also get a private RSS link to add the show to your podcast app of choice. And of course, if YouTube listeners find that the show doesn't appeal to you much, but you want to check out my regular content, I have plenty of normal comedic and high energy playthroughs right here on Snapcube too. All that said, please take care. I hope you enjoy the episode. Well, howdy, everybody. This is going to be a bit of an experimental entry in Midnight Snap. We'll talk more after this intro cutscene. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old mine in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! So, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game that I have wanted to play since its release in 2019. Um, I just haven't really had the time to invest into it, um, that I wouldn't have rather spent on other games. But I've gone through periods of just, like, looking at this game longingly, like... Oh man, to here. really sink my teeth in would be something extremely special. Um, it's definitely got its moments of high energy that we'll have to sort of pair back in post, I think, assuming I, I play a lot of this, um, if y'all like this first entry. Miss Gaspel, but get that fire lit quick. overall, Miss it Jones, is a... Bring in whatever blankets we have. It is a pretty slow paced. See what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was. Sorry, I'm trying to talk over it too much. You could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this. Just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some focus. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. 
We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. He is a powerful speaker. On, oh my Archibald. god. <laughs> All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. <laughs> we need you, son. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pause because it's, uh, yeah, I forgot how much dialogue is here. So, um, yeah, so this is a game I, 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 I'm sure it's definitely got its like high octane moments that we can bear back in post. Um, but the the vast majority of this game, as I understand it, uh, I've played about maybe like 15 hours on PS4, mainly back in like 2020. At some point, I uh, I really um. Actually, you know what? Earlier, I said I've been meaning to play this since 2019. Ain't this a 2018 release? Either way, I've been wanting to really sink my teeth into this since it came out, but I never, never found the chance. Um, so I figured since I'm not really going to be able to like do a full like mainstream playthrough of this anytime soon on the channel. I think Midnight Snap would be a good fit because I'm pretty sure a vast majority of it is like this slow paced kind of um introspective like cowboy sim um and that part of the game i think is so perfectly suited uh this is what i describe as like a late night vibes kind of game kind of game you like stay up until three or four in the morning playing dead of night dead quiet red dead redemption you know <laughs> uh so yeah i i figure i could at least give one episode a shot and if this is something that y'all are into, if y'all like the vibes, if we get far enough to where it seems like, hey, this this seems like even though it can kind of pick up at times, if overall it's it's chill and it's it's soothing enough to, uh, you know, work as a midnight snap series, um, I might just play this whole game on the show because uh, I, I think it's about time. I, I really man. I, I really like I can feel myself wanting to like sink into this one because even doing like test runs of like out in the open world and stuff, I downloaded like a save file that's past the intro just to like run around and get my graphic settings together. Um, I would find myself just running around for like 20 minutes just doing nothing except like taking everything in. And I I could just feel myself really gravitating towards it in a way that um, has been really hard to find in a lot of games recently. So anyway. Without further ado, let me continue. I feel like I really should have just done like a standard intro before booting the game, but I really on, wanted that kind of experience sure of like here, starting we the episode as the we'll game starts. Um, I currently got myself a an iced sweet tea in front of me. I bet you thought I was going to say iced coffee. Uh, not so. I have that in the fridge waiting for me when I'm done with my iced tea. Uh, Take it easy. <laughs> assuming I'm still recording. Um, and then I also have a just like a bag of like various like breakfast items, like a couple little breakfast burritos and hash browns that I'll probably be working on over the course of this recording session. I would like to get a pretty meaty recording done here. But we'll see. He's the last one, Parker. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. 
least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. Money on a boat? I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Hey, I think I see something up the path. What do we got? See, what's also really nice about this game is just how dialogue heavy it is in story moments. So great. I get to just like sit back and it counts, you know? I tried to I tried to record some sticky business for Midnight Snap earlier tonight because I've been really like running through games trying to figure out like what a good vibe would be. Um, and I got like 40 minutes into a recording of sticking uh, into a recording of sticky business. And I was like, this game is great. But I'm 40 minutes in and I already feel myself like losing stuff to talk about because the gameplay loop is really simple. Uh, great game, though. Would highly recommend. Super cute. You get to design stickers and like sell them on an online storefront. I think so. Check it out. A little homestead down that way. OK. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. Sounded like a party. How's Davy doing? I uh, didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I feel like I want the dialogue to be a little louder on my end. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe I could boost it a little bit. Well, we'll, we'll get the audio and everything figured out. Obviously, if you all enjoy this episode, but find that like there's some 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 kinks to work out with the overall like soundscape. Let me know, because I can always work on sound stuff uh, as we go. Um, And hey, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about this. Even if the the if sort of John. story focused vibes hey, have you seen John don't work out for Midnight Snap, maybe I could do some messing around in, in the online mode. Be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Passing you. You know what? Uh, I've wanted to for a while now. I've wanted to see about get it because because don't people do like Red Dead Online like role play? How does one like get into that? That seems really fun. <laughs> I've, I've seen some people like do streams just like with their little Red Dead role play character. And it seems like really involved in a way that's like really appealing to me. I don't know. If I, if I'm liking the vibes of this, that might be something to get into. I don't mean for Midnight Snap specifically. I just mean like, if I want more Red Dead, that might be the way to do it. Cause I don't know if I could vibe with just like the regular online mode. Um, I've tried playing like GTA online and I, I have also tried a little bit of Red Dead online. Uh, I'm not entirely fresh to it, but um, I don't know. It's 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 it has yet to hook me. I'll just say that. And I also don't know how active uh, Red Dead Online is specifically. It seems like kind of seems like they kind of left it by the wayside. Just I, I say as as an observer on the outside, because I I always see GTA Online getting like insane amounts of updates. And I mean that's obviously like their cash cow, you know. Um, I think GTA 5 is still one of the best selling games of all time. Like, it's like constantly up in the rankings, like every year. And I mean, across like all video games, it's like constantly selling. I don't know how. You, you'd think there would be a cap at a certain point. 
Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Like, how many people Stop are playing video games? Planners, I guess a lot. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. All right, so this next bit will definitely be a little bit of a test of sort of how well the, I mean, not to spoil, but I, like this this next bit is going to get a bit gun heavy. So I guess we'll, we'll see kind of how this works in post and everything. Um, I know if I, I know I can put some heavy compression on the game audio and basically make the gunshots like almost non-existent um but i guess time will tell if the overall energy is still too much as a result or if it's workable we'll see a lot of this game is really just out in the open world though which is super serene Someone's having fun in there. God, this game is gorgeous too. If you're not watching the video version, you too. Get yourself out of sight. Um, One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Just skim through Martin, it at some point. That Arthur, no, no need to do it tonight. No pressure, that. but stay low, both of them. Man, it's, it's like this game deserves to be seen at its at its at its most pretty. I am playing on, on PC, which you can probably tell given the 60 FPS cap. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, while well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Hmm? Someone's coming out the back. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Yeah. Ryan, yeah. Brother, we got a problem. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> folks, there's a corpse right here. Uh oh. Arthur. That wasn't even what you were talking about. In the wagon. Uh, I hear you. Just. Oh, yeah. oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Well, here's here's. I'm thinking maybe we could lower some of that music volume a little bit what's the default for that oh it's just down here huh okay well music can go down a little bit because okay i gotta figure out how um i gotta really get used to how the the controls in this game work because uh they're pretty uh they're not the smoothest controls. The control scheme is going to take some getting used to, for sure. It's definitely not. You got to like, th there's like a lot of like camera radical snapping involved. Oh, where is he? I do not see him, actually. I missed him. Oh, he's over here. I see him. Hold on. Got him. Nope, too late. I already killed him. Didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn, O'Driscoll boy's here. Why? I don't know. All right. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. All right, so that was, that was basically the worst of it. Uh, so, well, not the worst the entire game, but like, you know, uh. Smells like a party in here. We'll see how this works Run out. upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Food, medicine, and whiskey. You got it. Okay, so here's here's the good stuff. Listen to this. Watch this. Uh look at how methodical and just like slow the looting and everything is like. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, starving. You should eat something now. Get
Get your strength up for the ride back. Your health core drains over time and is now empty. While empty, you will experience some negative effects. Yeah, so you have not only like a health bar, but you have a health core, which is like the the bar, but extra. <laughs> uh, so we have canned sweet corn, canned peaches, and baked beans. Uh, the sweet corn seems to restore the most health core, so we'll uh, down some of that. So yeah, so if you're watching the video version, you may be noticing dry, that. Warm. We could maybe move the women <laughs> Sorry, and Jack down here. Me. Maybe we'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. You might be noticing if you're watching the video version just how like every action um is not super gamified. Like everything has like a very sort of realistic, like Keep methodical animations to it. Horses. Which I think is perfect for the vibes here it's it's all very again like slow methodical there's another word i'm trying to think of contemplative is that the word i'm thinking of something like that uh it's it's just it's very it's it's kind of intoxicating you get into like a you get into a flow you really kind of feel it um I don't want to say it's inherently like more immersive, right? Because I, I can't stand. I talk about this so much. I can't stand the word immersive being used as like a, as like a buzzword to mean, um, realistic or like, uh, without gamification. You know, I really think immersion needs to be more considered as a state of low more than a state of like suspending disbelief if that makes sense um because like you can get immersed into a game of tetris right like you don't have to like i think when people when the when the modern gamer says like oh this game was so immersive or i really got immersed in this game i i, I think they tend to just talk they they, they say that as like meaning oh i like forgot about the outside world it was so realistic like minimal hud elements and everything like i don't think you have to forget that you're playing a video game in order to be immersed in it if that makes sense um what are you doing? Arthur, <laughs> sorry I'm, <laughs> what am i doing i'm talking Arthur, about immersion in video games anything in that barn micah you search the cabin see what we missed but anyway sure. so I, I, so I wouldn't say that that kind of like slow, everything has its own extended animation that like takes real time kind of thing is, um, is what makes this game inherently immersive. Uh, I, I think that it's just, it's just the style. It, it, it paces it out in a way that really makes you feel every second, um, Which is more just the vision. Anyway, now I get to beat the shit out of somebody, which is fun. Look at, look at that one, two, one, two, one, two. Damn. Oh, he didn't even stand a chance. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here. What are you doing here? Where is. Where's Colm? Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others. At the others? The old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Okay. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. Sounds like a big job. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. All right, we're gonna we're gonna let him go. Get the hell out of here. Go. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a good Arthur. There is like a a bit of a morality system in this game. Um, I don't know how deep it goes, but I do know that much. So 
we're gonna we're gonna try to do things with a lot of honor. Hi, horsey. Hello. I'm gonna pat you. There you go. Easy, boy. You're okay. Horse bonding achieved. Level one. It's uh, me when I get a like on my My Little Pony fan fiction. I should write one of those. <laughs> I don't know why. I just should. I feel like I should. Something to do before I die. Looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. There you go. New horse. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. 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 Are you okay, miss? I, well, she was just hanging out in there. Three days ago. And my husband. They, they, okay. <laughs> miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> you come with us. Carson. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. No. We're bad men, but it's we ain't okay. them. Get on. We'll awesome. Keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, Miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I. He. He was my husband. Oh man, the dead body, I assume, yeah. Oh wow, those damn O'Driscolls. This game might bring back my, my southern accent. Hey, somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. He Cole weren't. Cole Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this... Poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. No, he's not. Mr. Morgan, he's right put there. you in a room over here. Thank you, Mr. Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a Because I'm the main darkness. character, motherfucker. Get to bed. Awesome. Oh, there's already... Uh, yeah, I'll overwrite. No autosave. Will stand the test of midnight's net that was very bright that was a bright screen for you to put in my face all of a sudden enter pursued by a memory he ain't been seen in days weather ain't let up he's strong and he's smart strong at least hello arthur abigail arthur how you doing just fine abigail and you I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, 
He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. <laughs> the situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Oh, yeah. So I should mention... Thank you. This John they're speaking of, I'm pretty sure, is... Last I know, John was headed up the river. John Marston? He kept riding north and who... never looked back. Is the main leave. character of Red Dead Redemption die. One? Uh, wouldn't be the first time. But this game is a prequel to that game. Um, I have not played Red Dead One. Uh, normally, I, I like to play games, even if they're prequels. I like to play them in release order. Uh, but this was a case where kind of just really wanted to play Red Dead Two. I don't know. I tried starting and and getting through a lot of Red Dead One on my own time. But it kind of just kept making me want to play this hey, one. I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. I'll probably well, go back at some point, though. Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on, then. Oh, we'll accidentally hit the... The mic arm. Sorry if that came through. All right. Let's Javier. Cross. See, they continue up that way. Ooh, that's gotta be cold. Mm. Oh. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What you were there, Javier. We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Pinkertons. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Change camera distance and perspective. Press the trackpad. That's not the right. Killed a girl in a... <laughs> Stop. Bad way. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, though. It says I'm holding RB. Down here. And the... That's... I'm not gonna... I'm just... Well, it's just a weird Maybe thing that's happening. Shot. I understand why Mac it's happening, John, though. Both shot, too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Can activate cinematic camera. God, stop. Bad business, all right. Whoa. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. I gotta figure out uh, how to make this game register as a, as a dual sense rather than a or how to make this controller register in game as a dual sense rather than a an Xbox controller because that's what's causing that thing to pop up. Because it thinks I'm pressing RB and select. Which is I guess how to bring up Rockstar Social Club or whatever. Man, I'm so sick of a uh... horses are getting tired. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh, I gotta sneeze. This, I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail. All right, I'm good. The muted microphone sneeze. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm sick of third-party launchers. Aside from Steam, says the girl who is afraid of corporate there. monopolies. See that? Let's see if he can hear us. 
Well, that's a really dead horse. I don't want to look at that. <laughs> it's a bad vibe. Come on, up there. Man, why is my my horse is going crazy right now? Also, okay, I don't know if it's just me. I need to take a look at the capture for a second because I feel like it's like blinking it's in a weird way. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. No problem. I like walking. I that shotgun from your horse. Ooh, Who knows good, what's up ahead? good call. You can only carry one side at a time. You can swap your carried weapons Grab with weapons shotgun. stored on your horse. Okay. This is a sidearm. Everything else is a front arm. <laughs> yeah, let's get the shotgun. Yo, wait, what is that maintain button? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I should mention, by the way, um, this game is slightly modded for me right now. I've installed a couple mods, mainly um, mods that unlock some of the content from Red Dead Offline or online uh, and lets me use it. it. It basically just adds like cool new equipment and coats and, and clothes and stuff for Arthur that I want to make use of. But I also have one that changes gun materials um, to look a little bit more realistic. So I don't know. You sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. Careful here. In the that we're high up here. You're telling me. Oh, but I also have one that changes uh, the button icons into PlayStation buttons, um, which is why they're showing PlayStation buttons, even though I was talking about the game thinking Careful. that I'm using an Xbox controller, which here. it does. It does. Watch out Good time. Want me to crouch? Okay, good now. Ooh. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. I, I do think a, a nice sweet tea is a Got is a here. perfect vibe for this. That sounds close this now. wild wild Come west kind of game. Bringing out the, bringing out the Bible belts in me. Dang, Ooh, my stamina is not doing good right now. I gotta like, oh, that's the wrong. Hold on. I gotta do something about this. Let's eat some canned peaches. Yummy, 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 yummy. That's what that, that's totally in character for Arthur, right? That little keep display then. that I just Come had. <laughs> yeah, me, me, John, me. where are you? John, you there? Uh, Garfield when he's hungry for a nice plate of lasagna. Marston, you hear me? God damn it! <laughs> I was hoping you'd say John. That's John. Hi, John. He's down here. Hey! All right. Hot down, Marston. That's quite He's a stretch you got out. there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Uh, 
sure you did. That's why he made me the main character right. of this game. I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. I just muted and uh, scarfed down an entire hash brown. It was awesome. Look up there. Perfect. Perfect. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay. Oh, it's gun time. Go, keep John. the wolves away from we'll Javier and John. Time. You got it. Hold on. Before we get into combat, how about some more canned peaches? Yummy, yummy, yummy! Let's freaking go! Get out of here, wolves! Ooh, that's very loud. Okay. All right. Okay, let's get Taking care of. That could have gone a lot smoother. That's my bad. Is that Tennessee Walker? This is Tennessee Walker. I want my revolver back. Uh. Okay, that's about all I can do. Oh, watch this. If you double tap L1, you can actually do a cool trick to. Come on, oh, well, let's get the hell out of here. Well, he's not doing it. You can do a cool trick to put away your revolver at some point. Oh, I guess we gotta Come wait until we get into the full let's game. Get back to the others. Too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a a dog bite. <sighs> Knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died. Just wanted to do a little trick there. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. I'm dying. You're dying. <gasps> of what? I don't know. Up You're just there. fucking dying. Okay, uh, I gotta, hold on, I gotta check something, cause the, the snapping on the controls is not as tight as I think it should be. Lock on mode. Narrow targeting weapons, lock on mode. Change the targeting modes for when you are aiming whilst on foot. Uh, normal, narrow, and wide will always try to lock onto the best enemy. A wider targeting mode will allow lock on to... Okay, so aim assist strength is all the way up. Um, let's do a wider targeting mode will allow the lock on to function at a wider range. Yeah, let's do that. For, um... On a, on a mount specifically, that's going to be helpful, I think. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, that's much easier. That's going to make it palatable. I don't think I need it on foot. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're going to be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. <laughs> Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. But it's Don't gonna be cold. Right to you know, we're gonna need to come up with a better Dude, story. Dude, I feel so star. bad for these horses. So How to run through this icy, icy please, water. Starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Let's yeah, left to the cross. Let's Slide to the left. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Wow, you made all those buildings in such a short amount of time? That's impressive. John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Hello. Oh, please. We got a guy. We brought back a we guy for you. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. Here, lad. 
you're alive. Here we go. There we go. Ay, careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Not a fan of Come Sidmeyer? On, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Muggy. <laughs> Understandable. It's pretty dense for a newcomer. I was thinking about maybe playing some Civ on, on the show, but um, straight up, I don't know weeks. if I got it in me. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. The thaw. Early in the spring I had been hoping for. I love, God, Arthur Morgan's voice is insanely good. Events in interesting locations are noted in your journal as you explore. Hold the left D-pad button to view it. Look at his little map, his little trees. He like totally did not have to draw those little trees. What an artist. Oh, actually though, look at this landscape. All right, this black water. I bought this new journal after the last one got destroyed in that fire all those months ago. Whenever it was. I haven't written or drawn much in the past few months, but I was missing it more than I thought I would. Finally near a store, so here I am, I guess. After all that business up north in the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness traveling down from the northern grizzlies. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. Oh, there's more. Oh, that sentence continues. Hold on. Uh, After all that business up north in the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness traveling down from the northern grizzlies. Stuck mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst of the winter. Food was easy to find and life was good. Dutch had to leave for some land we were going to buy. But the land did not match up to his criteria. Where he got spooked, we were being watched by the law and that somebody knew who he was. We never bought it and were wandering still. Picked up a couple of new folk in the Grizzlies. Jenny, a sweet young girl we met abandoned on the roadside. And Micah, an outlaw Dutch met in a bar someplace. Dutch seems very taken with Micah, who's pretty hot-headed, argumentative, and full of himself. Jose and I are less sure. Guess we shall see. Eventually, we came out of the wilderness and are now holed up outside of Blackwater. Although sometimes I stay in town hunting for opportunities. Oh my god, he's written so much. I might be onto something. We got plenty of money, and the trail we took was so torturous and slow, nobody could have followed us south and east or figured out where we was heading. We was thinking about California, but then Dutch and Hosea brought us down to Blackwater. Buildings. Blackwater has apparently grown a whole lot since any of them was last here. I was told to expect little more than a Triton post. But the place is growing fast and it's almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corruption, but there's certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living in a more or living a more civilized life after so long under canvas. But I do not particularly like being this near a town. Or being this near Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what it says. In in the in the text it says this near to a town. We are living here camping outside town mostly. Hidden in plain sight, I guess. Life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing. I wonder why exactly he came back. Cannot seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy of his or not. The arguing is, is exhausting. I heard talk of a man sounded like Trelawney, but we haven't seen him for many months. This is a lot of backstory to be dumping on both y'all and myself all at once. I apologize. <laughs> well, I mean, 
unless it rules for the for the sleep aid of it all but um i'll have to go back and read some of this to refresh my memory for sure uh jose and i are onto something something pretty big might be a lot of cash coming in to do with a real estate scam jose thinks he may have discovered i'm not sure yet the perfect crime we think the one where we rob crooks we're being real careful it's fun working with jose again the man is an artist of nonsense. Even if nothing comes of it, we are having an amusing enough time. It's good to be running scams again. Jose is a born huckster. He's getting anxious, worried that by lingering in town we're going to bring undue attention on ourselves. But Dutch thinks he's also onto something big. His word's not mine. Bank money being brought in by boat, apparently. So for now, we're working on both things and seeing what happens plan is to flee west into the desert country someplace if we can. Micah and Dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches, cash coming in for the banks, coming in by boat. For once, I am not getting involved in the job. Jose and I are too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well. Dutch seems confident that with the group assembled, all will be okay. Plan is for them to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness out to the west. The next day, Jose and I carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's talking again about California, but he's also talking a lot about other places. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> sad, pathetic, sopping wet little horse. Oh my god. We have been running for weeks. I mean, running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater, robbing that ferry, turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing. While Sean and Mac both got arrested or killed, nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl. I'm not too sure if by accident or design. Seems like it might have been a setup. We took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Then, as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. Davy Callender, who got shot in the gut on the raid, passed away. It was brutal to watch. The rest of us nearly froze, but we found shelter and have been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we await the thaw. I guess I assume we're almost, uh... Oh! Oh, wait! Oh, this is, now we're, uh, now we're back where we caught up with the, his narration. Hardly the spring I'd been hoping for. Jose and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I owned. I am profoundly concerned as to what happens next. Once we leave this place, the law finds us cowering up here. Found a girl, well, a woman, I should say. Her husband had been murdered by some of Colm O'Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. Well, that's it. It ends on nasty business. Love that. All right. That was a lot of reading. Hope that helped just settle in. Search drawer. What's in here? What you got for me? The drawer. I can't. I can't take anything. Okay. Close drawer. <laughs> With his foot. Come on, man. Be civilized. Hey, what am I talking about? What's in the nightstand? Ooh, I'll take the Miracle Tonic. And the classic oat cakes. There we go. You picked up an opened item. Open item provides... Or open items provide half the benefits of new items. Ain't that just the way? Alright. Close up. Alright. Let's... Walk out of here. I still feel like the game is kind of blinking in a weird way, but that could just be me. There's definitely some lighting stuff going on. I'm gonna sit down. Hey. What's up, Jose? How you feeling, Jose? You've been coughing a lot. Yeah, hey, coughing in fiction is never good. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Okay, Arthur. All right, that's all we got. Not much of a talker, our Arthur. 
Dutch. Okay there, Dutch. Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but he'll be all right, I hope. Well, try to stay strong. All right, then. He's got, he's got like two, one thing to say to everybody, and then it's, uh... Well, be seeing you. Molly? You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Well, just hang in there. Just gonna try and stay warm. Then go by the fire. <laughs> I would say might be warmer. <laughs> he's he's just guessing. He doesn't know. He's a cowboy. You expect him to know things. Except how to how to how to shoot varmints and hog tie a a, a, a rustler. <laughs> I didn't think so. Hey man, what's up, Javier? You were terrorizing that woman. Another cold morning. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Better than most. Help with you boys because I thought you liked action. Old friends. A couple of days on the lamb and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, oh, I think I it was Micah no who was terrorizing that woman, actually. Never mind. Probably. Probably. That's funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> Whoa, oh, hey. Like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it. Settle down, now. man. You fools punching it's too each early for tensions to be running this time. Punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. It's good living. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, You're never too old Mr. for deer piss. Would you please Rabbit look shit after the place that does have an expiration date. About. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this store of their planet. So I'm like, I'm, I don't know if I fully have put together the context as to what's up with this gang versus the Odriscolls and where their rivalry seems to come from. Um, however, I don't know if it's because I just don't have that information yet or if it was maybe in the journal and I just kind of what's that? didn't Tracks. fully process it. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently. No, 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 your ideas are right great. Move. It's you I don't think much of. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. 
You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn. Damn right, boss. I mean, yes, kind of fair in its own right. Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Arthur Morgan sits in the middle of a triangle of treachery, oh. it seems. Audio listeners, I'm saying that because he's literally, like, riding a horse in the middle of a triangle of other horses. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn <laughs> Hooray. ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Don't cuss like that. Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Oh, are we, uh, oh, we're getting off horses, okay. Wait up for me, Dutch. Wait up, I'm slow in the snow. Thanks, pal. All right. It's a are. guy. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Uh, the man whose face we can't even see. Oh, wait. Which No. Oh, is that him? <laughs> the one at the bottom? <laughs> oh, I see that man's face too much. What are you talking about? Better not be Steven Universe Who's discourse. He, he don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Yeah, what's up with the pixels Cold at the bottom of this wait. set of binoculars? Best to get some of them out of there. That's weird. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Going back on horse. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. True. Weapons not set in your loadout before dismounting will remain you on your two, horse. Get up there and keep us covered. Where's my horse? Tennessee Dutch. Walker. Hey do. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, okay. Sidearm, long arm shoulder, and long arm back. Very cool. Um, let's put the uh, no, let's put it on the shoulder, just so that it's more easily accessible. Do we want a rifle and a revolver, or a rifle and a shotgun? Probably a shotgun and a rifle. Yeah, that feels right. Full. Cool. Okay. Good. Come on, let's go. Because we can... We'll circle around the far you can side have distance and go down with the rifle and then Mike and Bill. Like you uh, said, revenge is a luxury if necessary. Yeah, damage comes with the shotgun. Wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Okay. So we're not necessarily going for Colm right now, which is probably the best bet, given we are... We're catching them at a time of, of, of great... Great numbers, it seems. Oh, this game is so pretty. I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to get to 
some greener areas. Uh, though I do love snowy mountains and hills and everything. Don't get me wrong. I love snow, but uh, this game particularly excels in the visual department when you get into like green pastures and and like rolling hills. Oh man, it's good stuff. I can't wait. Take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Crouch time. What's, what's, he doing? what's that animation? Okay. Uh, which which weapon? Here we go. Rifle, I assume. They very much pointed out the rifle to me as like a what the heck? Oh, yeah, I, I, oh, oh, that's my that's my friend. Okay. Uh, here. Uh, no. Oh, they want me to cover it this way. That makes sense. Arthur, take this spot here to my left. Yeah. Good. Good. So, good call. What are we doing, Dutch? Wait. I this is your this right. You want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Uh. No. 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 Send the game. Okay. Fine. You make the move. All right. On me. Good luck. There we go. That's one. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, the rifle has some great distance. It's almost like it's a rifle of some kind. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Melee mode. Sure, that works. It's not the way I meant for that to go, but that's fine. Ooh, okay. Some of these shots are really cool. Okay. I cannot see shit. Oh, the top of the water tower. That's what he was talking about. Oh, this place is gonna be fun to loot. Not to sound like a complete maniac. Yeah, I can't see ya. Hello. Goodbye. You are unfortunately too visible. Look at how mad he is. Oh my god. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Awesome. Oh, you it's looting time. Any of, them Dutch? of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun. Oh, I want this hat. And kill without give me your hat. Give me this hat. Think I can't pick it up. Some of you have been with me. How sad. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these two. They're just- th my guy is out here just making assumptions. Oh, that one was married. Oh no. Oh, shit. That one had a silver plant. Oh, come on. While I'm looting, have some respect. Have some respect for the slow, methodical, contemplative cowboy sim. Okay, fine. I'll do more shooting. Did 
Dude, I love this rifle. Oh, you want, oh, you want Deadeye? You want Deadeye? Did I, mate? Oh, that is doing nothing. Okay. Uh. Reckon we're better holding here. All right. Yeah. Pick them off as they come out of the trees. Oh, this is where Dead Eye becomes useful. Where's the other? Sure. Oh no, that didn't do anything. Here we go. Just stack them up like that. Yeah, cool. That works. So, this is about the time where I want to say, if this, if this Midnight Snap vibe is not working out for you, totally fine. I understand. Uh, for some people, it might hit others it might not work, just know uh, I'll be doing some more traditionally cozy stuff uh, pretty soon I mainly was just like really interested in playing this and trying it out um, okay. and I figure making any episode that could work for anybody uh, is better than continuing to not make any episodes because Admittedly, it's been a lot longer than I intended uh, between episodes, and I do apologize for that. I, re I really, really do. I see the comments. I read every single comment, um, and it, it does mean a lot to me to know that people are still interested in the show, and I really just wanted to let people know somehow that this is still a project that I am passionate about and uh, do intend to continue. In one way or another. And, you know, I, I definitely, I want to have like a, uh, the reason why I'm kind of experimenting with the format is because I, I, I want to, um, I want to have a wide range of episodes that kind of have different sub-genres of, of, of vibes for different kinds of viewers, you know? Because I've gotten varying feedback on, on each individual episode. You know, some people found that the Frog Detective episode, for example, was not super, like, helpful for them in terms of sleeping. It more could just be, like, a focus aid or, you know, but, like, maybe they found themselves, like, a little bit too engaged in the dialogue and everything to, like, fall asleep to. Um, so that kind of stuff I think is totally fine. Whereas, you know, other people, like, were not really totally on board with the Pikmin episode, but, you know... So it's, there, there are going to be different audience members for everything. Um, and so I wanted to try this out. And so far, I'm enjoying it a lot. I could really see myself sinking some time into this. Uh, so I do hope there is an audience for this entry in particular. Uh, however, just know I do intend to speed up the production uh, more than it has been recently. I definitely do not want another like three month wait between episodes if I can help it. Uh, at least not unannounced like that. So uh, hopefully even if this this one doesn't work out for you, um, you won't feel like you're really missing out on an episode. My, my intention is to be putting these out frequently enough that I can have like a like a large sort of breadth of vibes here uh and and have people not feel like like oh man this one doesn't even really work for me so now i have to wait like another month for an episode like that that is not that's not what i want anyway i'm really enjoying this so far though let me tell you this is hitting after trying and failing to make an episode for like for as, as long as it's been, uh, it is really nice to just be like fully absorbed in this right now. I'm extremely happy. <laughs> Good work, boys. Whatever, now, whatever that's worth. Let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. 
Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators. Oh boy, hold on, sorry. Anything you can. Let's go. I just started digging into a, my final breakfast burrito. I'm gonna play slowly. The looting moments. Ooh, dynamite. Uh-oh, hey, cutscene. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't get There's everything. The there was a lot of this stuff I wanted to loot. train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All Cornwall. Right, let's get out of here. Who would make All a wall of corn? All of you. Seems Got very structurally unsound. Look out. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. So true, Dutch. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed, we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Would you believe we're, like, not even past the prologue? <laughs> This game's intro is long, I will say. Uh, it definitely, it takes a while to even get to a point where you can, like, save the game. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong about that. We did get an autosave prompt earlier, I remember, when we entered chapter one, but... I have previously, um... Stopped at the beginning of chapter one and then uh just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay. Loaded back to the game only to find that the save just wasn't there. Okay. Oh we get to lasso somebody. That'll be fun. Hey, get back here, Sui. Ooh, yes. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah. Love being a cowboy. Let's go. By the way, if you decide to play this game for yourself at any point, uh, um, I highly recommend using P if you're playing a controller, I highly recommend using the standard FPS2 control scheme, which puts uh, run and sprint on R1 rather than on X. So much more comfortable. Uh, I would also recommend turning the aim and look dead zone down to zero and acceleration all the way up. That is my, my personal preferred settings. Oh, here we go. Lasso time. Wham! Oh, no. Hog tie. Me. Please don't. Now put him on the train tracks. Oh my god. Crazy. Do we loot him? I'm gonna loot him. It's uncouth. I know. Uh, I apologize. Please, please, you don't need to do this. I just needed some extra pocket change. Or some whiskey. On, Maybe I, some I, tobacco. Get on the horse. Comfortable enough for you? 
God, no. <laughs> What's your it's name, not? boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. <laughs> oh, no. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Camera hard cut to Freddy Fazbear's pizza. <gasps> oh no. Please, mister. Do you think Arthur would be the man by the side? I'm sorry. Come on, mister. P -p please. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will oh shut it God. for you. <laughs> oh, no. Remember, Perfs ain't got no friends. <laughs> Don't tell me nothing. I swear. You remember when mister. someone got the die, voice of Arthur Morgan you to literally to say Turfs Turfs ain't got no I friends? That shit body. was awesome. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's, That's like one of those things where I'm right like there. It's like one of those things where I'm just like Do you think he knew I like not to not to say oh he must be stupid like I I just like do you think he knew what that meant when he said it I always wonder about that kind of thing. Like, is that the kind of thing he would want to walk back later if he ever found out? I just uh, this 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 stuff pops into my mind. It's a little. You know, my brain is a little fucked up and weird. Sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the Oh, I just boys. completely... Just completely turned off my headphones. Oh, no, I didn't. We're good. You've unlocked rearing with this horse. Hold X and tap square when stationary to perform this move. Uh, I'd love to, but I gotta remove Kier and, uh, Culkin. Don't from the horse. Me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. You gotta get back to playing Wallace. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Well, you can, but it's gonna hurt your hand. There's gotta be a lot of metal on there. Unless you, over the course of like two, two to four years, hit increasingly larger quantities of metal to sort of build up like a physical immunity to it. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Bill. All right, one more mission over here. Hi there. <clears throat> you are starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cases. The aftermath of, of Genesis. For what? 10, 12 Exodus? people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. 
Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. I'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur is awesome. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. He's so rude. Sorted, salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is a rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. I'm very excited about the bow and arrow right. vibes. Let's head out. I believe is yeah. yeah okay. We just got 22 arrows. I was gonna say I was looking. At, I was trying to check my email while that cutscene was playing, so How I didn't actually see up, him Charles? hand him the. I'm okay. Arrows. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. I could probably uh, main the bow and arrow during this whole playthrough. Been a wild few days, all right. That would work, I think. Uh, right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me Bad stuff. <laughs> Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. It sure weren't good. This game is so beautiful, man. When it's when it's serene, it is fully serene. In the most like intense definition of the word, it just ma it just makes me feel very comfortable. This whole thing. See some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, a girl can get bad move. bees and fuck them, and that's good. Stay quiet. How? Hey, stop here a second. I see something. I'm starting to wonder about the the blinking. I, I still feel like I'm seeing it. I'll have to fix that uh, between this tell? episode and next. I actually still don't even know if it's on the recording or not. Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun you got it. Everything around. Okay. Uh. Long arm, shoulder, bow. Yeah, okay. 
Leave that on the shoulder. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You'll make less noise when crouch. Press L3 to crouch. Did I say couch? Oh my god, speaking of couch, you know what? Um, you know what I really you miss when uh, making midnight so. snap? Oh my god, I miss focus. the I miss the couch setup I had in my office uh in our previous apartment. Man, that couch setup. I had I had a setup where I had a a small like two person love seat sitting in my office and I had a small TV stand where I had my TV and then next to the love seat I had a little table just a little cheap table I got from Amazon and on that table I had a setup for my microphone uh my mic arm specifically so I would just pull the arm out of the clamp for my desk and move it over to the clamp on my uh, on the little side table and it was literally just like you pick it up and move it um and i could sit on the couch and record or stream things and when i tell you it was so comfortable it was so comfy it was everything i ever wanted um and i like did not opt into a couch setup when moving into this new apartment and putting together my new office last year um because i hadn't used the couch setup in a while uh, i found it easier to focus when i was at my desk uh, and i still do find it easier to focus at my desk for like high energy streams but like man if i had come up with that couch setup concept after coming up with midnight snap it's it's like it's it's like the two things would have worked together so well. I would love to be playing this on a couch right now. I could go for like six hours straight if I were recording this on a couch. Easy. No problem at all. Um, but like they just uh if they had happened closer together, they would have they would have worked perfectly in tandem with each other. But um unfortunately they the ideas came to me at different eras. Anyway. Eagle eye, focus. Okay. Tracks are highlighted on the ground after focusing on them. They remain highlighted until the bar in the lower right corner empties. You'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. They're kind of flashing. Yeah. Your scent is also shown in Eagle Eye, blowing in the direction of the wind. Animals will flee if they smell your scent. So remain downwind or far away when hunting. Eagle Eye will be deactivated if you start running while using it. Is that my scent? It's, it's, it's hard to tell what is the... Oh yeah, that is my scent. That is so cool. It's like just little, little Arthur Morgan stink lines. How funny. We're not very stinky right now, thankfully. Arthur Morgan, bath taker, confirmed. Is it really just like loop around like that? Is that the same set of tracks? No. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wait, look. Yeah, can we get there it from here? Are. Quick, get that ball out, Arthur. Draw the string. For their head. The further yeah. you draw the string back, the more damage your arrow will inflict. Holding it too long will reset your aim. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Shit. Yeah. Focus, Arthur. Yeah, that was I I should have gone a lot closer, I feel like. It's too shaky. Oh, my stamina core. I gotta eat, man. Um Miracle Tonic, no. No, I need I need provisions. 
Give me some of those baked beans. Yeah. Love that. Okay, we'll have to cook some better food for ourselves later, but for now, that works. Man. Uh... I'm not seeing any more deer close by. Can I stop crouching at least? Yeah, as, as, as long as I don't start running, we can still track. I mean, not that this moves really any faster, it seems. Ow, okay. <laughs> what did I say? Ow, that didn't hurt. It just, it just kind of scared me for a second. I fell down very, very slowly. Well, not slowly, uh, a very short distance. I was not expecting to fall. <gasps> There's one. Okay. Let's, um, let's slowly inch across the river. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's two of them! Oh my god, wait, okay. This might be it. Oh, this might be the big one, girls. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah. I can't see, oh no. Yes! Oh my god, love that. Yeah, okay. I should have I should have shot sooner. Dude, oh my god. Hunting drains my stamina like crazy. Or maybe is it just like the way I'm am I just pulling too long on that? I don't know. I have to I have to keep an uh, a closer eye on my my uh stamina core. I got some I guess I'm eating some kidney beans. Do we have anything else? Sweet corn? Uh... Ooh, oat cakes are for the horse. Got it. Kentucky bourbon? No, that damages the health bar. Okay, we're, we'll get some sweet corn in there. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Okay. Uh... Can we get another... Another shot on one of these deer? Oh, you know what? I think that's one right there. But I wonder if we should just go ahead and... Uh... No, they want, me, they want me to shoot another deer. Okay. Well, focus on the track. And then... Yeah, there we go. There's one. I see you. I see both of you. Oh, oh, there's one close by. There's one closer than I even thought. Okay, one more. This should do it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Well Amazing. Done. I think that's all we can carry. Yeah, perfect. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Sounds good. Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. The compendium tracks what you have discovered in the world. It can be accessed in the progress section of the pause menu. Let's take a look at that. White-tailed deer are found in a variety of habitats across the states, but are common to the forests of New Hanover, Lemoyne, and West Elizabeth. Their herbivorous diets include grasses, nuts, fungi, twigs, and fruit. Keeping your distance when hunting deer can increase your chances of a kill, as they are easily startled. Long-range weapons such as a rifle or a bow with poison arrows are considered to be the best when hunting. Deer hide can be used for crafting, and their venison meat can be used for cooking. Wonderful. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god, that's so many menus. Horse will respond to your calls as long as it's within range. Continue to bond with your horse to increase the distance at which it responds to your whistling. Get over here, Tennessee. Whew. Oh, oh. Well, that's not that's not even Tennessee. There you are, Tennessee. Get over here. That's right, boy. 
I have a new friend for you to hold. Stow the deer. Alright. Perfect. Yeah. Ready to head back when you are. Come on then. Let's head back. Let's go. Hey oh, I'm so sorry, Charles. Careful. That was Tennessee, that wasn't me. Animal carcasses is gonna be dropped off to nice Pearson work, at Butcher Knife to contribute to gang supplies. Few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. True. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, but well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Oh, man. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go. And he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Oh, God. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Oh, finally, the Big backstory. Dang, nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Ooh. So I heard. Watch out. Uh -oh. Bear up ahead. A bear? Let's see if oh we can God. find another way around. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Oh, but could you imagine bear meat? You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Okay. Uh. Well, yeah, lead the way. One insistingly stay back. I, mean, I, I assume you got a good head on your shoulders about the distance required. Oh, I'd love to get in a bear trail. fight on the sleep aid show. <laughs> the bear speaks your horse. When our predator is nearby, your horse gets agitated to hold L3 to calm it. Good boy, Tennessee. Hey, You're so brave. Much, you me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. They didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. Oh, not at all. I just I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. Me too. <laughs> I mean, with Aubergine in the house. Okay. This suits me. He's bloodthirsty. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes. Dutch is certainly different. 
He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> he taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. The Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Love me some uh, new horse? unconditional right. loyalty. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take <laughs> nobody but him. Just the long conversations on these, like, entirely real-time horse rides. Oh, it's so perfect for me right now. I'm gonna hitch tie him over here. I've been like desperately trying to find the vibe that hits for me. Just for the games in general. Uh and truly like thank you for hold showing on, hold me on. how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. <laughs> Hitch horse, there we go. I don't know why that happened the first time. There's just no prompt. All right, let's get that deer off. Ooh. All right, Harrison, we have Dearson. We have yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. <clears throat> just drop it down in here. Well, let me do a little jig on the table first. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, please. I want it on the table. I want it on the table. Okay, fine. You want it on the floor, I see. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well... See you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have See a lot a of other things. You. you go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one that you dumped on the floor there. You made me dump it on the floor. All right. The skinning can be a little gross. So for those who are queasy about that kind of thing, huh. fair warning. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. It's you very know, you realistic. Can trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> a few days later, you have unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. What? What the hell is that? 
I've been through this. It's been a bad few weeks. Dutch, being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch, being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. <laughs> you still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, <laughs> son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. <laughs> Bill, now you ride ahead. <laughs> Set the charge at the me. water tower. Just before the he tunnel. He is an idiot, and we all know Why it. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. I... Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I love Dutch's I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head He's back so out funny. West. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. <laughs> All right. Ready? All right, let's head out. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Oh, Master Hunter is uh, one of three deer skins, so I guess that's like a like an a, an achievement thing. I, I'm really curious about this. Hold on, I have to see this challenges. Bandit explorer, gambler, herbalist, horseman, Master Hunter. Oh, it's a challenge. Unlock special equipment and health experience. Interesting. Oh, that, this doesn't seem so bad. Oh, well, I guess, I mean, let's, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. I, I might be doing some of these, actually. That seems very fun. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot. Oh, my God. There that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? <laughs> Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yeah. We're heading to the back. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. Let's ride. Oh, this is going to be great. What is up with the <laughs> what's up with the blue filter going? Oh, it's like fog or something. Weird. Supposed to look like this? 
That came out of nowhere. Oh, I think it is. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Oh my god, I look at how pretty this place is. You'll just have to trust me. The snow sort of like slowly right. transitioning into green. Oh my god. Uh, Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Okay. I'm gonna like pause for a second because I gotta look up something about like see see if anybody else is been dealing with this weird flashing thing that I keep seeing because it's like really gonna bother me. Uh, one moment. All right, I'm back. Um, I tried to look up the weird like black screen like flickering thing. Uh, and as far as I can tell, uh, as as far as what I could tell based on the like brief Reddit forums I skimmed, uh, it's kind of just a thing that happens with the game sometimes. So we'll hope it dies down. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. For sure, yeah. Alright. Should I do this on foot, I assume? Whoa. I'm not really seeing a... Oh, well, actually. There's a there's a path for a horse here. Was that horse shimmering and shaking? Was that an actual animation or was that a glitch? I don't know. We'll see. No, we won't see. Yeah, here we go. We're right down. Bill? Bill? Where you at? What's up? You planning D and D? How you getting on? Yeah. Let's be TNT or dynamite. Okay. You sure? It's probably dynamite. Of course. Can I help a little? <laughs> All right. Can I help a little? And set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have brought the horse. Tennessee, where are you going? Are you just hanging out? Okay, doing your thing. I also changed the DLSS mode to uh, balanced. I had it set on quality. Um, figure maybe that might help somehow. I don't know. We'll see. Not seeing any immediate difference in terms of like visual fidelity because DLSS is essentially magic. Okay, this is good. All right. Not sponsored by Nvidia. I should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. All right, Bill. Sounds good. Come on, boy. mistakes what's going on he says all fine we'll soon find out everything okay i think so 
Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Ooh, yeah, we get to do, uh, we get to have a fun little bandana. That's awesome. We get to cover our faces for little outlaws. I love that. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. The ultimate test of the vibes. Midnight snap train robbery episode. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh boy, jump on the train. Oh god. Alright, yeah. That is as good a backup plan as any. Oh no. Was that Javier? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, Lenny. Oh, oh, I gotta mash it. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, that was Javier. Javier. Ooh. Okay. Um, I probably got him. Uh, well, I can't, I can't target anything now. So I'll just, uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, you do it. It's fine. <laughs> the moment he turned away, that works. Come on, let's get to the front. You know, pretty slow. I like. We up? There we go. How many you see? Will someone blow their brains out? Hey, I got a Okay. Not going too bad so far, all things considered. I mean, aside from all the ways in which everything is going wrong. Man knows how to look out for himself. I love that. Okay. Climb over obstacles. Oh, yeah, pretty easy. I wish there was a quicker way to like switch between cover. Oh, uh oh. Get up there. Get him off me. Hey, 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 do something. Do do anything at all. Do anything at all. Okay, that works. I was mashing B, uh, trying to get the the melee situation happened. That was not working. Okay. Oh, I really should have taken more weapons. Oh, I have a, I have my rifle. That's like gonna do well enough, I think. What the hell? <laughs> no, that was that's brutal. <laughs> okay. Still okay? I think so. Good. Damn, he's got an arm. Who is this guy? Doing good, kid. Man, he's like taking them all out for me. I don't know. Oh shit. You take this guy out while I loot this body over here. 
randomly selected body to loot. Dude, I am not playing very strategically, I will admit. Here, this will help. Is that the last one? Nope. Not quite. Oh, that was just a misfire. It's my bad. Oh my god, that is so many of them. Oh, okay. Thankfully, we have our horses. Hold on, I gotta loot. Looting time. I'm thinking I'll probably stop this episode after I play through the, like, the prologue and just kind of let people... Well, I don't know. Maybe I should play a little bit into the main game because, like, the main game is going to be a lot slower than this prologue is game. overall. Hey, I'm literally playing a game right now, so maybe, like, don't talk about shit you don't understand. Anyway, I don't know. Like, I want to, um... I want to make this one maybe like a shorter kind of like repilot of sorts to give people a chance to let me know how the vibe is, is working out. But at the same time, the vibe of the overall game, like I said, it's a lot, it's a lot slower and it's going to be a bit more, it's going to be a bit different the deeper I get into it. So I wonder if this would be the best representation if I were to just stop after the, the prologue. I don't know. We'll see. I might play a little bit of the base game just to... Or the, uh, not the base game. The, the main game. You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give it got you my so word, blue again. But trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one. Seems uh -oh. our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Well, we are bad, man. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. I'm not just gonna mute that Two part or something. Blow that door open. Take dynamite from Bill. Oh my god. Now, oh my god. What are we doing? Us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good okay. enough. Now light the fuse. Oh no. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. I'll keep looting while we're at it. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. We just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search and I just want to rob these random bodies. <laughs> All right, friends. Let me get on that private car. There we go. Look at this place. Let's it's get like to Robin. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. Oh, the frame, Ooh, the frame drop that just there, happened. Kid. Pour me some brandy, Whoa, will you? what is Parch. going on? Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. That was crazy. Came just started chugging out of nowhere. See if we can get this Cigar? Open. 
Come on. Can't carry any more cigars. I don't know, I was so full on cigars. How many cigars do I have? I have 20 cigarettes. Three cigars. Okay, understood. Take the fun, Brandy. There's letters I'm like actively not reading. Just doesn't seem like my ammo. Search cabinet. Ooh, a lockbox. That seems promising. What's all this then? Railroad contracts, invoices, blah blah blah. Think I got them? Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <laughs> there's, there's cigars. Nothing in that cabinet otherwise. Oh, the drawers. What's in the drawers? Bill stack? Premium cigarettes. Don't mind if I do. And that's about it. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. This train's too now. fancy for my blood. Should have read those letters. I don't care. What did you find? These... Bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. What is the most good boy option? Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Go Get on. on the train, man. Thank you. All right. Now we're in business. Okay. To the engine car. Let's hope we don't run into any more surprises. That would not be amazing. I really should be looting more. Oh, <laughs> awesome. arrived at the engine car. Let's start this train. They're just gonna send it off, huh? Yeah. I guess so. I mean, what else do you do? You couldn't blow it up. Pretend like nothing went down. It is gonna arrive full of all those bodies, though. That might become an issue. Acceptable losses. They'll look the other way. Eastward bound. Mary Beth. Mary Beth. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Read me like a book. Damn. Oh, let's go. All right, we're reaching the end of the prologue here, I believe. I think I am going to go a bit longer. Mainly because I don't even think we've hit three hours yet. I want it to at least be three hours. 
Oh, this music. up ahead make sure there's no surprises we've had enough of those me with the boy just go come on kid you can buy me a whiskey it's been whiskey without an e in those subtitles is that a mistake or an alternate alternate spelling i actually don't know oh look at how pretty this is man Oh my god. I'm so happy. I love me some graphics. I'll tell you what. Get us out the stream. Got to keep us moving, but calm. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh no. Okay. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. Right? You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. <laughs> say less. Say less. <laughs> Awesome. Bash it. Smack that wheel. Get it in there good. Awesome. Get that box in there. You ain't so useless. Mm, it's a lot of boxes. Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Hello. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Oh, interesting. All right. Not too far now. Let's listen Stay to some tales. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? I was gonna say, what else is new? I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you <laughs> rob and kill people pleasantly? <laughs> he's he's literally saying every everything that pops out. I was like, is there any way to do it pleasantly? Like what? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded <laughs> driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never <laughs> forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. I don't so, know, man. This seems pretty plausible. What happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. Oof. We never saw her again. Oh, God. We drifted around. 
He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> we still heading the right way. I mean, that we got depends. a ways to go, man. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place <laughs> we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Valentine. Or horseshoe Good everywhere. Place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, yeah. You, Dutch. That kind of work does come with a sort of, of work heightened a baseline level of risk. And we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Let's go. Cutscene time. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> you acquired some herbs. These can be consumed to replenish your cores used in cooking or to craft items. Very cool. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about their properties. Dude, I'm so excited to play this game. I legitimately, like... Oh man, I really feel like this is gonna hit. I feel like this is just what the doctor ordered. Okay. There you are, brother! Head in there, follow the tracks for a bit. Thanks. Not hey, it. I'll jump on. It's like well hidden in the woods. I like that. Very covert. Okay, let's go. All right. Uh, where's the? Here, here we go. Nope. Went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Yeah, man. Me too. It's all temporary, but at least it's cozy. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You were wrong, Jose. This place Here we is are. perfect. Oh, I hope so. Gentlemen. And I mean that we positively. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then <laughs> Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. 
I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> I read that as connotations Gentlemen, for a second. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little bit. this nerd emoji of looking course, motherfucker? Strauss. I prefer Robin Air Banks Strauss. to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. We're going to pray? I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems <laughs> a decent morons. place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Donate money and valuables to camps to upgrade camp ammo, food, and other morning. camp supplies. Awesome. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss <laughs> Jackson! I've Sleep, shave, change clothes, or store weapons in the probably. weapon locker at your tent. Yeah, so... This game's got some really cool sort of like role play mechanics with Arthur in particular. He will. Oh, hey, chapter two. Here we go. Epilogue or sorry, prologue officially over. Um, Arthur will dynamically grow facial hair a couple weeks later. Uh, he'll grow facial hair and he'll also gain and lose weight as the game goes on, depending on. Got off the mountain. What you do or don't Rode do. East into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. Jose. Huh? <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the Swanson. train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> All right. We are officially in it. Oh, that feels great. Okay. Um, I like Arthur kind of having oh, like Arthur, my boy, my dear boy. This beard. What's going on? A Dutch. Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first at all. time. In weeks, nothing. We're free. We're f free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. All right. Uh, I want to kind of figure out what my ideal facial hair length for Arthur is honestly it can't be much shorter than this I'm gonna be real we just go like all facial yeah I mean it's gonna be either like three or four I think I think four is kind of perfect I do want to see what the later ones look like so we'll, we'll we'll just keep it we'll keep it growing he's got a good look about him um and in terms of his outfit let's uh 
let's let's get this outfit sorted. Okay, we're going out on the town. We gotta look good. Um so choose a full outfit. Oh, we do have just like entire Oh, I wonder how many of these are from the mod I installed. Probably not a lot of them. The red the rebel. This I really like this one already. Okay, okay. We'll see um how many options we have. I'm going to put together something like just fully custom. Uh okay, so custom outfit. Let's do our hat. All right, yeah. So we don't have we don't have a lot right now. We'll have to get more as the game goes on. I think the mod that I installed just added a lot of stuff in particular to like catalogs that we can buy from. So we'll have to find those as we play, which is how I prefer it. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm thinking either I'm, I'm thinking we got to go with this gambler hat. It's it's kind of tattered, but in a way that feels very classic. Um. We could go no hat, but that feels almost sacrilegious. Also, what was going on with a... Why... Why is his jacket doing this and we zoom in like that? That's so weird. Uh, okay. Speaking of jacket, let's, let's figure out his coat situation. I am really feeling the wool frock coat. Um... Oh, it's too warm, though. It's too warm. It's it's kind of hot out here. I wonder if we should just go coatless, actually. Maybe, uh... Yeah, we don't really... You know what? We don't actually really need any of these. Let's go no coat. For now. And then, uh, we can do... Let's change up his shirt. He just a union, he's just wearing his PJs. Uh, what colors of the everyday shirt? Yeah, that's it's a bit more neutral. I don't know if I like this blue one. I don't know. It feels too. It feels too formal. But I guess I'm not. I mean, I'm not gonna fully. Like, let's let's just let's just get one thing straight. None of this is gonna be like my style, you know very much just trying to compensate and like dress him how I want to see him you know not not exactly how I want to play him but like we're working within the limits of having a a forced uh male pro tag here uh you know set in the wild west the fashion of which I am not particularly envious of Ooh, okay so, the Legion vest, kind of a fun vibe, but it doesn't match colors-wise. None of these really match colors-wise, actually. These all kind of suck. Yeah, no, we're gonna back off of that. The suspenders. Oh, now that's a look. <laughs> I guess we do need the suspenders, huh? We want ranch pants, work pants, jeans, ranch pants. Tony, the ranch pants look more, those look closer to what I would think of when I think jeans, but, oh, here we go. Never mind. Never mind. That's the blue jeans. How does that look? Oh, that's pretty bad. That's not a good look. Oh, I'm not really feeling this. I'm not feeling this vibe, I don't think. Ooh. All right. The work pants. Yeah, I think I gotta go back to the work pants. That's kind of working the best for me. What if I just went for the white dress shirt? No, that's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, I'm thinking it's gotta be the everyday over shirt. And you know what? I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I kind of think, I do kind of think we got to go for some kind of coat here. We just need to pick a slightly warm one instead of a one, one that's full warm. 
We could go with the duster coat. The duster coat, I do like the long, the long duster coat. That's pretty good. We'll go for that. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem in terms of the, the heat of it all. And then we can match a shirt with that rather than having to go coatless. Yeah, there we go. Eh, actually, yeah. Uh, French dress shirt, white. Hey, that's not too shabby. I think we need to maybe go for like a bandana rather than a like an ascot, which is kind of what he had going on before. But yeah, okay. How about we go for some different pants? Maybe maybe this the the striped jeans are more the vibe for this. No, it doesn't really fit colors wise. How about the ranch pants? Does that work? Eh. Uh, no. No, not really. I think it's got to be the work pants again. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll 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 get plenty more uh fashion potential as we go. Can we add a vest now? Is the vest gonna is the legion vest gonna Hey. Now the legion vest underneath this coat. That's kind of a looker. I'm not that that's not too shabby if you ask me. We'll go for that. Uh now his his chaps are non-existent. We will not be wearing chaps. I don't I don't think we'll be I'm gonna be honest, I don't think we'll be wearing chaps for the remainder of this playthrough. Just so you know. Ooh. The Rambler boots are kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of a vibe. What the deluxe? Get, do we have something that will match our vest a little bit in color? Uh, not really, no. Could go barefoot <laughs> if we want to be insane. No, okay, so I just think we got to go Rambler boots. It's kind of the best style we got. We can add some Western snake spurs, though. That's pretty cool. All right. Whoa. No thanks. We got our bandana. Oh yeah, he had, that was the that was a neckerchief. Nope. You're 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 going for the bandana. That's the ticket. Now, the gloves. I feel like too warm. Too warm for this weather. Weapon equipment. Yeah, let's change the gun belt to the Nuevo Paraiso. Yeah, that works a lot better. This is coming together. Our primary holster will change for the similar style. Just want everything to kind of fit color wise. No bandolier. Who needs them? Our satchel. We only have one Arthur's trusty satchel. Do we want a talisman? Uh, not really. That's fine. Oh, did that just remove? That just removed our spurs. Eh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll save this outfit. Save custom outfit one. Perfect. Love that. You have no outfits suitable for cold weather on your horse. Well, honestly, if I can be real, I don't think we'll be needing those. Each day, Pearson will make stew, which, which you can eat from the pot at the food symbol. Wonderful. Look at this handsome man. Wow. It's like actually coming together. I'm, I'm really liking this look. Okay, cool. So here's what I'll do. I'll save right now which i can finally do uh let's just save over this first slot those two slots are exactly the same otherwise so <laughs> perfect okay all right um now we just figure out what we want to do we have plenty of options got a lot of missions sort of strewn about here uh, there's one right here from Uncle. Uncle needs to speak to me. 
Or we could pick some up over at Valentine and Latinx Station with the Reverend Swanson. Although, I feel like if we pick this one up from Uncle, that might give us enough opportunity to work our way closer to either one of these. Uh... You know what I want to do, though? Let's let's check my satchel and see kind of a... Uh... Oh, whoa. A lot of pamphlets here. Let me just, uh... You've already learned this crafting recipe. Okay. What do I do, then? We'll put it away. I just... This is a unique item. Can I like, oh, oh, okay. So it's stored under recipe pamphlets, but since we like just got it, then it's stored on recent. Okay, well, let's look at our provisions here of which we don't have many that are <laughs> of much health really at all. So um, I will be needing some food. So I feel like we should go hunting. I feel like that's kind of what I want to do for my first order of business here, but yeah, I just like I just want to have stuff to make. I think. Well, hold on. What like ingredients do I have? Oh, oh, we have coffee. We have sage, yarrow, ginseng. We have mature venison meat, Indian tobacco, gritty fish meat, stringy meat animal fat crafting feathers okay so we do have ingredients for like a quick meal if if we need so i don't actually think we have to go too hard on the hunting right away now that i think about it so we should do another day another day i'm not gonna go for stew just yet let's uh let's, let's get a mission started then wait actually what what's my what's my weapon loadout looking like? Weapon locker. We have Is our food gonna be ready soon? A revolver on us. And we have carbine. I mean, you know, I'm gonna equip I'm gonna equip my bow to my back. And my carbine repeater to my shoulder. And then I'll keep my revolver on hand as my sidearm. Yeah. That works for me. Perfect. All right, let's go talk to Uncle. Let's get another mission going. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, <laughs> while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> Go check you the horses. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. <laughs> Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Out to the trees here, then take a left. How fun. Off to Valentine. Speed up. Uh, I'm impatient. 
I say playing my slow, methodical cowboy game. seem a little problematic. This is so cute. get my other horse back from over there could you uh, sure, yeah no problem over there the white one it's the yeah. white one over there you got it okay whoa well, i mean I'm, I'm gonna try not to sprint up to it like that so much hey whoa whoa easy hey easy yeah Calm down, calm down. Here we go. Here, let's give you a little pat. Good. There. Wonderful. All right. We're so good at this. Let's go. All right. I have officially, might I say, made a new friend her name i think you know her name that's right Here. twilight sparkle here you go you're a gentleman sir a gentleman no not really i was just trying to impress the women <laughs> well, anyway thank you all right have a good one sir I almost just started developing hiccups. I really hope they do not turn into full hiccups. I will have to stop the episode early. <laughs> oh no! You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart, a small one perhaps, hitting they deep turn into hiccups. a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here. I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I am so, so mad that I just got hiccups. You have no idea how mad I am. This stinks. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, yeah, no. it's not nearly as pretty. This O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, it is currently the next morning uh, because I got those hiccups and stopped recording only to discover how tired I was while waiting for them to subside. Uh, and so I went to bed and was basically out of commission for the entire like following day. I slept so much. Uh, it's been a weird time for me, uh, but I'm back. Um, I had to like reboot up the game and replay this mission up to this point. So 
you know, the exact placement of where I'm at is uh, discrepant. But uh, let's let's continue. Got myself another iced coffee, though. That's the benefit of it being uh, another morning. I'm probably going to play Go through like down the main street. another. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to like finish this mission so and then maybe play through one yeah, more. So I don't know. You put your we'll see. On the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here. All right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. I have terrorized this town so much in my test save file. Everybody is so mad at me forever. No, I'm sorry, sir. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> with pleasure. What we'll the hell? The <laughs> okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I... Where should I go? So that's oh, how okay. you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, it... In my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. My guy just doesn't Desperately. care. What's wrong with that? You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. So I rude. Lied. Ringworm. Then... Rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. <laughs> Is the place now? Come on. Ooh, that one hit. You could tell that one really. That one really hit home. He said, "Oh, come on, man! Not the rats with the plague." So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking at like a game boy there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? <gasps> oh, hey, McKellar, don't mind if I do. Absolutely. On the shelf, nearest the door. Oh, yeah, I love the, um, I do really like the catalog system in this game. Well, I mean, like, it's, it's cute. I, I don't prefer it in terms of, like, UI readability. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I literally just started looking. Hold on. Um, okay, so provisions would... Would coffee be in provisions? I don't think so. It's not looking like it would be. So <laughs> would it be in tonics? Buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, coffee this does here's not a seem town. to be in tonics. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's all right. I guess it's in provisions. You know we're going to be looking at that clothing catalog at some point, though. You understand this? Um, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Oh, you know what? We do probably need to get some more, like, baked beans. It's all done. Thank you kindly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll get some baked beans. Baked beans. Oh, yep. oh, my God. That's fine whiskey. This game's, like, actually that do it. bringing out That's my accent again. Outside. Truly. I was joking earlier, but it's, like, actually happening. Coffee, yes, let's go. Yeah, well, I got no money on me. Okay. You literally have forty-three dollars. What are you talking about? Browse the store. I want to look at clothing. What do we have? We got full-on outfits. The vaquero. Oh, I just realized I don't have my mod manager loaded. Oh no. I'll have to remember that next time. Unless they're somehow running in the background. I don't actually know if I have to have the mod manager like fully running in order to have it apply to my game. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, though. Oh, my God. See, yeah, so like the, the one thing I'm. Oh, wait, oh, we can actually view this stuff. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. Oh. Hold on. We need we need to look at um We gotta look at some hats. Yes. 
gambler's hat. Okay, so then let's take a look at all hats here. Oh, yeah. We got Arthur, we got to get you a good hat. Big city hat? <laughs> I don't know if that really... I don't know if that fits the... Ooh. Worn, worn gamblers. I think we already have one of those. Military scout. Uh, Panama hat. That's kind of hidden for me. Yo, the black Panama hat? Hold on now. One sec. What if we like went for that? Oh my god, it's $12. Okay, you know, we'll, we'll go clothes shopping later. I'm gonna finish this mission. We got coffee and we got some baked beans. That's fine. That's all we need. That's a, that's the full, that's all the main food groups we need, right? To like live and, and be healthy. I could survive off of baked beans and uh, coffee if you gave me a chance. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time what in my she career, doing? I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Like from Final Fantasy VII? Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing Another train, through huh? a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. <laughs> Why? They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, boy. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Oh, dear. Excuse oh, dear. Me. Yeah, definitely. Hey, take care of this, please. You can go Hello? to the damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get, Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't that get looked like there was a bit of a problem. Right this is definitely not a no problem kind of vibe, personally. You're hey, get out of here. Big mistake I didn't mean check. to pull out the gun, but... Lost. Kind of liking the vibes right now. I'm just doing this with you right now. <laughs> strong, intimidating. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. <gasps> Look, the trick. The holster trick. I love it. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Alright, let's hope nothing nefarious is happening inside. Oh man, couple can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather, mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in two B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? Near Tomina? Okay. Well, let's go play some near. Dude, I actually, I really want to play near Tomina again. I say again, I've only played through the the main A playthrough. I understand how it works. Don't worry, you don't have to explain it to me. Uh-oh. Kick it, kick it, kick it down. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Damn. Uh, I paid for <laughs> no part. <laughs> not exactly doing great right now. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> he knocked him out in one go. Oh, uh, Jesus. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? <gasps> oh, yeah. no. Nothing, nothing to worry about, just me and, but stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Oh my god, she's like so bank. rude. I'm sure I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. Keep investigating. I will. Is there anything else I can take? Anything in the drawer? 
Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, not quite. Oh wow, there was literally nothing. <sighs> good, mighty good, sir. Okay, let's get out of here. Sure hope the guy at the- <laughs> what if we just like, leapt off the balcony? We could do that, right? Can we? No, we can't go out this way. <gasps> yes, we can. Wait. Oh, darn. It won't budge. All right. Let's go through the front then. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After everything's you. fine. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? <laughs> sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No. Nope. No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? I don't know no. who you're talking about. Possibly. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. <laughs> I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. Oh, I'm gonna no. go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just a word. Just on it. Oh here, no. Right Not exactly making the best first impression here at Valentine. We could probably do better than this. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? You stop right here. Hey, hey, hey. I just I just wanna parlay Oh my god, good lord. Ugh. What a nightmare. Hey. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. <laughs> I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't oh never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes. That's not true, too. Arthur. You're beautiful. Now please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. Yeah, yeah, we'll help him. Right. Like I said, we're go we're going good boy, Arthur. Although I am morbidly curious how the other side lives. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. So well, true. I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Absolutely. Oh. That's very kind of you. You can use this to draw some Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, Thank you, man. sir. Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see. I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. I I am in love. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. I don't know what it is. It's it's just everything about Arthur's delivery just kills me. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we'll, we'll be, re you can return the horse you sold to its owner in Valentine to gain honor. I understand this. We will be doing this. Um. Okay. One sec. Where even is, can we like see where that is on our map? I mean, we can see where Valentine is, but. Oh, is that the end of that mission? Oh, I guess so. There's like a whole nother mission going on here. Uh, how do I, okay. Well, I can't see where the horse was. 
I was not expecting the mission in there. We gotta go see about uncle, I guess. Maybe they're still around. I don't know. If not, that's fine. Here you go. Glad to see you. Here. Here you go, sir. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. You can have a weapon at him now. <laughs> Appreciate it. But not for me. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Question mark lips indicate optional stranger missions. Speak to the stranger in the area to begin the strand. I didn't know this was a strand type game. What? What are you talking about? Stranger mission? What does that mean? I don't see I don't see that at all. Okay. Well. I guess we'll be keeping it going. Interact with the shopkeeper. Yes, understandable. Oh, I guess uh I guess Uncle and them are just gone. Okay. I mean that's fine. Here, I'm actually going to really quickly. I I think I have the don't I have DLSS at quality mode right now? I changed some of the settings and I'm kind of Yeah, I have why don't I have it at quality? I'm putting this on balanced. It's gonna uh yeah, it's gonna blink out for a second. That's fine. Okay. I just wanna make sure everything's running okay and there's like no immediate visual difference whatsoever. It's like fine. Where's my horse? Where's Tennessee? Hello, mister. Oh, Tennessee's way over there. Oh, is Ten Oh, Tennessee's back at camp. That's right. Right, because we we came here with Uncle. Well, how, how are we getting back? I'm yeah. doing fine. Keep it moving. Okay. What should we? What should we get up to then? We got some stuff. Oh, oh my God. It's literally this big circle right here. <laughs> oh my God. It's like one of the, it's like the actual biggest thing on the map. I was looking for a small question mark icon. I cannot believe I sat here staring at this like, where's the question mark? There's someone here you can meet. The noblest of men, the noblest of men and a woman. Yeah, we'll, uh, We'll check this out. It's pretty big. It is optional, they said, but sometimes those are the best things. You want a nickel? You want a dime? Hey. Howdy, Mister. You know what? I just want to get a drink good today. I'm That's good. Okay, well, it's not him. Oh, it's probably this guy. Excuse me. Excuse yeah. me, but I need some money. The guy shouting. I fought in the Hello, war. Mister. Hey, brother. Oh, hey. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. <sighs> sure. <laughs> I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. You've known me for two seconds. Second, mister. Can I? Sure. <sighs> okay, just quickly. <laughs> Bring her in. That felt... Good. It's nice to be held sometimes. So true, always, dude, always actually. In the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Oh, yeah. Remember with kindness. <sighs> oh, <laughs> is that it? Okay. Well. Hey, where are you going? Is that really, is that? I feel like that's not... 
I'm like so curious where this guy is headed right now. That definitely wasn't the stranger mission, right? I don't think so. Is he lead me to a bank? <laughs> where is he going? <laughs> where are you headed? Oh, is she gonna sit down? Okay. If I sit down next to him. Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, bye, sir. Interesting. That was just a nice little interaction. Now I'm wondering. Stra oh, oh, were you the stranger? There we go. Mister? Hello? Got a smile on my face today. Good on you. No, he's not the stranger either. Oh, they're in the building. Try to remember. What really happened at Sylvia's saloon back there in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ain't you your friend there? Undusted. Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? Oh, is this other guy the from... Gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw from that camp? ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Or like loser well, hollow. I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. <laughs> Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? He's full of wisdom like that. I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. Oh, I Where guess he's not from camp. Shooting, not trying to shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Huh? Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and... Well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every <gasps> last one. Yes! Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Oh, I'm so Maybe excited about this. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity. Shoot him. I can't believe I just said that. Oh. Hey, sorry about that. Uh Okay, we're uh just, just get back to it. Sorry. I have a minor interruption. It's okay though. You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did <laughs> in my head. How much you paying? <laughs> well a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Oh, I actually photos. It was I was just okay. getting so excited about the idea the of, of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. Like I a like we'll a list of famous return. gunslingers to take down. Here are some other flop house. But I guess that's only if they get uppity. Expect the photographs for details of the gunslingers' occasions. Oh, let's go. Okay, is that in our satchel? I imagine. Take pictures of your surroundings. Whoa. Oh, cool. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, I'm like in the middle of the street. Hold on. Self-portrait? It was, uh, that was highlighted for a second. How do I? Oh, well now it's... Why is it only sometimes highlighted? Oh, there it is. Let's go! 
I guess it's only if we have enough space or something. Because it's set up on a podium. Expression. Big smile. Pose? <laughs> Insert that one post about the the Spongebob stock photo pose. Alright, let's put away the camera. Um, here we go. Here are the photographs. Emmett Granger, Black Bell. Oh my god, wait. Awesome. Well... Emmett Granger. All right. Let's see. Hey. Zoom. Flip. Things are bad. Read Mind this. Business. Pervert killer hog fancier? Uh-oh. Emmett Granger, 1882 Beaver Brook Massacre. Reported sightings. 1895 Federal Pardon. Why? <laughs> At present... Keeper of hogs near Flat Iron Lake. Interview refused. Keeper of hogs near Flat Iron. Okay. Oh, oh, they just mark it. Okay. Well, that's a little Hello. disappointing. I was hoping we'd have to go and explore a little more. That's fine. Oh, well, then again, this is only his last known location. But I can't imagine if they're marking it on the map that it would be too disparate from where he actually is should be around here yeah okay um that's a ways away so we'll have to we'll have to do that later um it's just some straight up bounty hunting we can do bounties available at the sheriff and valentine you know what uh here's here's what i'm thinking what's our uh What's our hunting challenges looking like right now? The master hunter thing I really wanted to do. We still need to skin three deer. We could go look for some deer, I think. That'd be a nice way to, I guess, maybe close out this episode. I don't know how long I want this to be. Like, I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop playing just to stop playing. But at the same time. Uh, you know what? I'll just, I'm literally just going to play until I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to stop worrying about the length of it all. Man, I need a horse right now. Oh, and you know what? All of my... All of my stuff is back at camp. I can't do anything right now. I totally forgot. We got to get back to camp. Is there a... Is there like a carriage I can, I can ride or something? There's probably some kind of fast travel, right? Maybe? I don't know. Is there fast travel in this game? Let's find out. Hollywood stars and celebrities. What do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. It actually seems like there is not fast travel. At least not traditionally. That's cool. I actually like that. Okay. Uh... So... With that being said, who's, who's, who's this? Hey, hey there, what's up? Pal. Can you help me? Could what's use up? Some help finding my way home. I can't make heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure, sure. Just. Head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Coming from a good time, huh? Oh, I really don't feel too good. Oh, no. <laughs> I really need to get back home. Right, yeah, let's, let's make sure this guy gets home. Are you sure this is a... Right away? Oh. Hey. I'm sure I can trust you. Yeah, man, I'm I'm right here. It's all good. Where'd you you, you, you said you were to make sure I get home safe. Yes. Absolutely. Kind for a stranger. Thank you. 
I do appreciate your help. Oh. <laughs> this town just seems all the same to me. It's this way. Right? I think I've found it. Yeah, there you My go. My house is just over here. This must be it. Okay, I really hope this is actually this guy's house. He's not just sneaking into someone else's abode. You got the keys? Oh boy. Let me in, woman! Oh god damn it. You've been drinking again! Oh. Well, you can go ahead and sleep it off out. Oh come on. this is a disgrace. Ugh. Ugh. Well, ew, oh my god, okay, well, at least he's home. Well, that was sad. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're just gonna lie down in the fetal position right there. <laughs> Sounds good. Nope, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't know why I did that. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Hoping everything Our works out for you. What's up, paper boy? I want a newspaper. How can I help on your property? <laughs> oh my god, it's the worst angle possible. I'll take a paper, please. <laughs> Make sure you come back tomorrow. Evening, friend. Get your news here, Valentine. Howdy. That is something else. All right, all right. I, I, I gotta get me. I gotta get back to. I gotta get back to camp. I gotta find my stuff. I know. I know. There's a mission right here. I could be doing, but at the same time, I just don't. I don't really. I don't want to. You know. I just don't feel like it right now. We can come back. We can come back with all my stuff, even. Okay. Evening. Evening. Can I borrow this horse? Not a bad town you got here. Yep. Yep. Evening, sir. Dutch worm blood. It's a cool horse. I could just take it. Hold on. I mean, I am an outlaw. I know I said I was going to be good boy Arthur, but like... Even... Even good boys have their bad days, <laughs> you know? You could totally, you could totally just... No, there's got, there's got to be like a carriage system or something. What's this carriage over here? Hello there. They are carrying wood. Could just, could just take the wood. Uh oh. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I'm bringing back plenty of lumber for camp. For some reason. Uh oh. Uh oh. I did do a crime. That was that was very easily av avoidable. But that's okay. Uh oh. Maybe I could have just asked somebody for a ride. I'm pretty sure you can do that in this game. You can... Yeah, you know what? Well, I mean, it's too late now. I already took the... I already took this big stack of lumber, so... Oh, it's getting dark. Do I have, like, a lem uh, a lantern or something? That'd be helpful. I gotta get back before nightfall. Ten dollar bounty! Come on, man. That's some bullshit. It's just wood and two horses. Yeah. Lawmen have posted a bounty on my head. Oh my god. Come on, man. I gotta go pay that off. Alright, so like, I like really don't even need to 
bring these two into the camp. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave them to their own devices. They can handle whatever life throws at them. If they can handle a big stack of lumber, then, you know. That lighting pop-in was crazy. All right. So... Are those red supply symbols meaning that we're like low on all that stuff? Because if so, we are low on everything. Hey. Hi, Tennessee. Okay. We actually... Hold on. How do I... How do I equip my stuff? Hello? Oh, were they in my weapons? Oh my god, you know what you know what totally happened? So it wasn't that it wasn't that my weapons were on my horse the whole time. It's that when I booted the game back up after quitting yesterday because of hiccups. I totally forgot I had to take my weapons with me because they had already auto-saved my outfit. Or I think I saved after I made the outfit, but before I took my weapons. So my save point didn't have my weapons automatically equipped. That's totally what happened there. Is, so, so I had to come back to camp either way, but if I had remembered to do that before recording, I could have totally avoided all that. What are they... They are. And you won't get yours. That's the problem. Is everything okay? Hey. Y'all good? Come on, Arthur, don't give me that look. She's a miserable old hag, and you know it. <laughs> oh my god. The oh my god, the way that they like dynamically acknowledge you in conversations is actually just insanely cool. Where'd she go? Oh boy. Oh, there she is. Evening. Yes. Thanks for all your efforts. That's all right. I know we don't say much, but we appreciate it. Well, just go on. <laughs> Cute. All right. I think. It is about time to get some rest. Mary Beth. Good evening. Might just go to bed. Me too, honestly. It's a, it's a good call. Oh, we gotta have some dinner, I think. How are my cores doing? All my cores are fine. We can just have breakfast. Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, sleep time. Let's do... Yeah, just sleep until morning. Just a solid nine hours. Oh, nice. What was that symbol on my horse core? My horse's health core. I gotta look into that. Oh, maybe that was like a brush? I think that was like a brush. Can I clean the horse? Can you wash your horses? I would not be surprised. Okay. How are we doing on facial hair? What level are we at right now? We're currently at level four. Which is exactly where we were last time, I think. So Good morning, Arthur. Hey. So a feller in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay though, I dealt with it. <laughs> Okay, I'll catch you later then. <laughs> Whatever you say. All right, let's go pick up some breakfast from the stew pot. Hi, Susan. Take a bowl of stew. When you grab a bowl of stew, you'll need to wait a few days before being able to grab another. And they're rationing me like crazy. We still got this guy tied up. Insane. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot in the move. 
We'll be back on our feet soon. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. Eat some stew while I head over to my tent. Oh, you finished? Dang, okay, right on the ground, right in front of Dutch, too. <laughs> Pick that up, Dutch. That's what the only thing you're good for around here. Okay. So I'm going to take my revolver yet again and then, yeah, okay, so the carbine and the bow are still, in fact, in my locker. So I'm going to equip the carbine to my shoulder and then the bow to my back. Perfect. And then I think I am going to go hunting. I really, I really want to... Get that master hunter. I want to get those master hunter ranks for some reason. That just seems very fun to me. Uh, it just seems like a fun idea. Hey, I th Should no, not now. <laughs> I'm hunting. Should I take my horse? Yeah, I'll, I'll take my horse. Well, we'll go a little slow. Let's go to like. Let's take my horse out to the wilderness. Oh, I wonder if there's going to be like a hitching post, though. Hmm. Okay, let's just like head out around. Oh, oh, I got a I got a bounty all in this place. Uh Oh, okay, well, let's just head out like around here. And then we'll, uh, we'll see how good that place is for hunting. Let's get out of here. I do like how, how they just give you like a nice path to follow. It's a nice morning. It is not a nice morning, uh, IRL. I honestly don't think. Oh? Hey, there. Oh, hey! It's just a guy hanging out. Oh, it's well, so foggy. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Actually, can I be real? Well, hey there, partner. The, Come take a look at this. The morning in-game and the morning this, IRL friend. are, like, exactly the same. It is actually just, just really foggy. Gray. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Oh. Huh? <laughs> well, shit. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> well, shit. The end tobacco. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll eat one and then pick the rest, I think. Um, nom 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 nom. What does that do for us? It's that it helps someone focus. But, uh, do not see an immediate core effect. Maybe we could... You know what? We could probably use this for a good tonic. Yeah. Use to craft items that replenish dead eye. Use a campfire to craft with a new tobacco. You got it. Sounds beautiful. You could be eaten to refill your dead eye core or craft it into snake oil. I don't actually know what snake oil does. I'll have to look into that. another horse. Whoa, everything okay? Put a weapon away for some reason. Okay. Oh, fishing! Oh my god, can this guy show me how to fish? Please, please, please. Please. How's it going, mister? Just a stranger. Oh, please show me how to fish. Excuse me, pardon. Go on. Get. Oh, he's mean. Just calm down. Oh, okay, he's just not in the mood. Okay, well, he is not a fishing tutorial. My bad. 
All right. Uh, I believe actually we are. Yeah. All right. So here's our. Here is our Let's go, marker. Boy. Can I hitch my horse anywhere? Horse, horse hitching spot anywhere close by? I doubt it. Oh my god, that's is that just a deer right there? Hold on. I travel alone. Beat it. Hey friend. So just so rude right off the bat. What's the point of this? Okay. Is that Oh no. Okay, well, at least we have a track, so we can study and track animals through your binoculars by holding X while looking at them. How cool is that? Alright, let me follow this then. We stop tracking. No, focus on it. Focus on it now. How's our how's our smells doing? What the fuck was that? Are we hearing his his fishing over there? That's so funny. If so. I don't know if that was like a fishing rod sound or just something else entirely. I'm hearing like a like a goose or something. I actually this, you know, this game is hopefully going to teach me a lot about wild animals and like what is what. Oh, is that? Is that my mark? Hold on. I think that's that's gotta be it. Can I please can I study? Here. What if I take out my binoculars like right now? Kit. Here we go. Yeah. What are you? No, no. Oh, an American pronghorn doe. How fun. Die. On. All right. Oh no. Oh, that I don't know if that was enough. Put this on pronghorn track. Okay. Hopefully. What is the? What is this? What's going on? Did we hit it that second time? And if so, was that like enough to to kill it? I don't know. Oh, I think we may have got it. Oh, we totally get. Oh, no. Oh, it's like not. No, please. Oh, that made me so sad. We gotta do it. We gotta do a cleaner job, okay? I like. I'm too. I'm too soft for this. Like, put it out of its misery up close kind of business. That's just not my game. Um. Did this even count towards my master hunter thing at all? Skin three deer. Okay. Is this gonna count? Does it does it count deer and doe as as different things? Let's find out. Uh, let's skin it. Whew. Does that count? Pronghorn hide. Okay, let's look. Please, fingers crossed. 
No, that did not count. Gosh, dang it. Well, now I just have this doe skin. I don't know what to do with. Cannot harvest all this animal's parts. All right, that's fine. Uh, we'll put the skin on our horse then. We gotta find like some, some real deer. I wonder actually, what if we look in the, oh my God, there's like a compendium we can look at that might help. Yeah, white-tailed deer. Will this show us, like... They're found common to the forests of New Hanover, Lemoyne, and West Elizabeth. New, New Hanover... New... Is that where we are right now? New, new <laughs> I can't tell. We need more of the map to actually see. I'm gonna assume that's what this new is. New, new Hanover, Lemoyne. Oh yeah. Wait. Oh, it's hard. It's it's. <gasps> No way! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh wait. There's a there's a there's a deer symbol right here. I wonder if that's. I wonder if I I I should have seen that a lot sooner. I wonder if I wonder how easy that'll make it. Oh my god, that's probably. That's probably just straight up what that means. Like, hey, there are deer in this area. Oh, it's right next to camp too. Oh my god. Okay. Well, let me just let's 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 put let's put the skin on our horse. And then uh we can take it back to camp. And then from there we can head to where that symbol is and hopefully find something more akin to what we're looking for for that challenge all right stow it on the horse i wonder if our camp can actually like use this properly all right boy let's go home howdy He, he keeps like putting away weapons that I don't. Oh, is he just. Is that him? Oh, that's him stowing stuff on the horse, I think. It's hard to say. I don't know. Alright, let's, let's store some stuff in our supplies here. Here, let's get on. Morning. Morning. I don't want to say morning. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we're going to hit that bank I told you about. Let's see. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. Tough as a dead cow. More stew is being prepared already. What time is it? Slowly starving. I cannot see what time it is in day right away. Okay. Is this the box where I put things? Contribute? Can I put some, uh, give item? A pen? No, we're keeping the pen. Valuables. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could give some, uh, I could give some valuables. Can donate some silver clam buckles. Sure. Uh, I, I, I believe the skin is still on my horse, actually. One sec. Can I do anything with that? No one looking after you except scumbag. 
I mean, we gotta bring some food. Or something. I don't know. Let me get let me get the skin off. Uh can you stop <laughs> calling me like that? Where's the skin? Yeah, can I can I take that off? No, I don't I don't wanna discard it. I wanna I wanna take it off. Can I how do I grab it? Lead, lead, pat, study. Where's cargo? I don't want to discard it. I guess, I guess I just can't. I guess I can't take it off until I like do something with it, like craft it or something. Okay. Well, this was all for nothing. I wonder if I, let me, let me just go ahead and like. Unoil binoculars. Go on a scale trinket watches. Can I craft something here? Is that something I can do? I doubt it. I probably have to just make camp outside or something. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on now. Nope. Okay. Wait, what was that? Isn't it good to be out of that goddamn snow? Why are you so chipper? We're gonna be good. We are gonna be great. Faith, my son. Faith. Cool. <laughs> oh, it was the sit prompt I was looking at. You got a guitar? Okay. Let me go... Let me go and see if I can... Here's, here's, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I will... Take my horse and head out this way. And then we will see if I can set up camp and do anything with this skin. And then, if so, if I can get rid of the skin... We will hunt for some actual deer, skin two of them, hopefully, and then we'll call it on this master hunter thing, and then I can uh, do something else, I guess. I don't know. I'll take a little shortcut here. Yeah, here's some deer, I think. Wait. Is this not exactly where I was before? Wait a second. What is... I mean, it's just kind of further down the way, I guess. This looks like the exact same spot, but I don't think it is. But is this the exact same guy? How's it going? Hey there! What was... What does that look? Hey! Hey, come on! What are you... What's that all about? That was giving me the ick. <laughs> yeah. Here, let's set up camp. And yeah, there's definitely some, some creatures, but of what variety we'll have to see. They can examine. A new herb? What is this? A wild mint! Oh, I love mint. Let's pick some mint. Ooh! <laughs> this little leap for joy. Okay. Can I set up camp here? Yes. Wonderful. Don't have to be that close to my horse to do it, which is good. Whoa! Look at us on this cliff. Okay, let's craft something. Man, can we really not craft like anything with the the skin we have? What is even the point? I guess we'll just find more uh, uh, ingredients and stuff later, but dude. 
That is irritating. How many arrows do we even have? We should definitely make some arrows, I think. Yeah, we got... Let's, let's craft some arrows. Oh, that's one arrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, yeah. All right. Uh, and then I'll make some food, I think. Let's make some... Mature venison meat. Just so that we have some space to... get our... spoils from the deer. We'll stow that. Don't need that right away. I cook another. Stow that. And then, uh, let's get some stringy meat. We'll eat this one. If it's almost past noon in game, Arthur's gotta have his lunch. Don't want him getting too skinny. Yeah, so I, I believe I said this earlier, but like, his weight will actually change dynamically based on how much you're eating. Um, and you can actually check. He has like a, he has a quote, perfect weight range that will give you a buff as to how quickly your stamina drains. Um, so like the more in a healthy like weight range you are for Arthur, the slower your stamina drains. Currently, we are at average weight. So we... He doesn't drain... His stamina drains slower, but apparently he takes a little more damage. So... We could stand to... Beat him a little more, I think. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how our habits kind of to work out let's uh let's grab our bow no uh this way right yeah got it let's grab yeah grab a bow uh tennessee i no not draw the bow put the bow away now tennessee uh Didn't it say I could, like, stay? Hold here, boy. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay. Let's... Let's hunt some deer. Where are we right now in relation to where... Oh my god, they put us all the way up here! What on earth? Okay. Well, I guess we'll see if we can find some deer anyway. That is so inconvenient. Why would they have put us all the way up here? I guess there are just like a couple like predetermined camp spots. I did not know that. I thought it was more dynamic, I'm gonna be honest. What is that? What am I looking at? What's that carcass? Are you sleeping or dead? Oh, you're dead. What is that? Oh, that's that's a deer. It's a dead deer. Ew, oh, it's run. Oh. Well, at least we know there's deer up here. What on earth? Okay, well, I'll keep an eye out, I guess. Are there any tracks? Not seeing them immediately. Okay, I don't want to stray too far from camp. But at the same time... No immediate, uh... Oh! What's this? What's oh, a rabbit? Uh... No need. Oh, we totally should be studying 
animals, though. Actually, I don't really think about it. Do I have my... Binoculars on me? I do. Okay, good to know. Here. Bird. Study this bird? Is that a is that a goose? Oh shit. Too far. Okay. Oh, tracks. Oh, these are probably uh Oh wow, they like immediately disappeared. Oh, hold on. I got I got my partner breakfast. And it has arrived. Gonna let her know. Okay. Yeah, not having the best luck here in terms of our hunting. Hunting prowess. Let's head back to camp. And then we can. Oh, it's literally right there. <laughs> okay, we don't have to. Oh, hold on. Bird? No, please, please. Wow, we really gotta, like. We gotta catch them when they're standing still, huh? They move too quick. Because you have to, like, you have to not only hold down the button to study them, but it doesn't um, auto-adjust when they move. So if they're moving, then they can uh, they can run out of range. What bird is this? I'm looking at a bird right now. <gasps> I am! Oh my gosh! What is this? A blue jay! Oh, how cute! Goodbye, the blue jay. Really would like to find a deer. Man, if I can't even find one, how am I gonna find two? There was there was a dead deer up here, so we know they do come by. What killed that thing is what I'm wondering. Oh, focus on track. <gasps> oh, What are we looking at here? Well, it says unknown animal, so I'm pretty sure if it was a deer, we would probably be able to recognize that. Oh, well, I mean, who's to say? Is this a rabbit, maybe? Oh. This is so... This is such a vibe. I really hope y'all agree. Um, obviously, let me know if you ever feel like the ratio of story to just kind of fucking around is, is ever too out of line. But I figure if it's a sleep aid show, this is kind of what y'all come here for. This is why this kind of stuff, if, if you are still with me right now and you were wondering, like, why does Penny think that this wild west game would be good for the show this kind of stuff is exactly why this is what i mean like the the open world is full of just like so much um like i said it's just like slow contemplative cowboy sim that is how i think you best describe it uh dude where is this animal oh oh did i see something Oh, it's like way over there, I think. Oh, is this one dead too? Oh. No, it's not. I can't see it. The FOV kind of betrayed me there. Either that or it just started running. Here. I'm really close to getting something here. It's a rabbit! Study the rabbit. A black-tailed jackrabbit. How cute. Still no deer. Oh, the bird. It's the 
the bird I really wanted to study. Come on. That's gotta be just like a goose. Oh, an eastern wild turkey. Awesome. A fox? Dude. Dude, there's so many animals. There's an American red fox. How cool is that? White tailed deer. Wait. Where? Oh. Hold on. Howdy, sir. Bad day to cross my path. You best vanish quick. What are you? Hey. Hey there, partner. You wanna? You wanna really fucking try me? Really think that's gonna work out for you? I believe not. Oh, is that the deer? Oh my god. I think there's oh, I think there's multiple. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Sorry, not to get too excited. Yes, oh my god, there's more than one. Okay, okay, okay. Just to make sure. We are looking at white-tailed deer. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, I wonder if I can I can I can I nick maybe? Can I get closer? Someone better not blow up my spot here. Shit, okay, that's fine. You can track one. We just need to, I, we don't need, we just need to skin them. We don't need to necessarily take the skin with us, but that is rather wasteful. Oh, I got my arrow back. Nice. Okay, we'll skin this one and then track another. And then, uh... We can figure out what to do with these later. It's pretty wasteful. I'm just doing it for the sport right now, which is... controversial, I know. Man. Oh, this is even a... This is even a good quality deer pellet. Wow, is there really a... Uh... They really leave no tracks? What a bummer. gotta be around here still. Oh, here we go. No, that's a rabbit track. Come on, man. Okay. Well, we, we do know they came in this general direction, so I feel like as long as we keep this way, then... Oh, there's one. Did they smell me? Oh, we gotta catch him before they recognize me. Oh, I see one. I see one. Oh, they're well over there. Okay. Okay. Spotted. Spotted. And they do not know I'm here. Be okay, as long as I take it kind of slow, kind of safe. Still right there. I'm gonna try and get the high ground a little bit more. Oh, this is like. I did just totally leave my skin behind. Not my skin, you understand. There it is, there it is, there it is. Come on. <gasps> Closer one. Shit. Come on, man. Oh, I'm embarrassed. 
You have 13 arrows left at least. That's plenty. I got too I got too scared. I got too scared about the one that was coming my way. Are there tracks now at least? Wow, no, not at all. Dude, I'm so bummed. Why is this so difficult? Okay. We got more of an open field. I'm not seeing them at all, though. I'm seeing no signs of... <gasps> Wait! Deer track? Deer track? Oh, there was totally something there. Come on. What is that? No, that's like something else. That ain't no deer. I feel like that's probably a horse of some kind. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's that's a horse right there for sure. Um All right, I'm going to have to start. I think Cutting my losses. <gasps> no, there they are. Oh my god. Wait. They're right there. Okay. Not gonna sprint too close. Just enough to be within shooting range. They're out in the open. Oh my god, if I can climb up here. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Here we go. Here we go. This'll do it. Let me up this way. Come on. Okay, okay. Slow down. Slow down. We'll make it. Don't get too... Don't get too impatient. There they are. Are those... Oh, no. Wait. Right there. I actually don't know if those are deer, but this is deer. Oh my god, okay. Okay. So we just need to skin this one. And then we will have our achievement, hopefully. Where'd it go? Dude, where did it go? Oh, there it is. I was like, you're kidding me right now. That was tripping me up. Okay, perfect. So this is a deer, not a doe. Really hope the skin is also good quality. Um... Because if, if not, that means we left the other one there for not much improvement. It's perfect! Yes! Okay, awesome. We did fantastic. All right, we can... How close is our horse? How far is it? see. Oh, good lord. Oh, that's actually not that bad. We could, um... Yeah, you know what? We could maybe let's let's walk or along let's walk along the road and maybe see if someone can like give us a ride or something. Will we be able to hitch a ride while we have a deer pelt with us? And furthermore, dude, what do we even do with this deer pelt? Challenges. Master hunt. Oh my god. Oh, they're in the quick menu right here. That's cool. That really actually helps quite a bit. Um, zero of three perfect rabbit pelts collected. 
Oh, we have a challenge specifically for collecting perfect pelts. And for rabbits too, which is a, a much smaller target. Man, are we gonna... Are we gonna come across anybody? I sure hope so. I mean, I guess if not, then we'll just get there eventually. Why am I... Man, why am I running out of stamina? Is it because I'm carrying something? Cause I'm not, I'm not sprinting right now, I'm just running. I guess it is because I'm carrying something. It's gotta be, right? Why else would I be losing stamina just by jogging? This normally does not happen. I mean, we can take a bit of a... We can take a bit of a peaceful walk. Dude, Arthur, you need a bath, my guy. Oh. Hey. Somebody. Hello. Hey, you. Slow up now. What the hell do you want from me? I oh, can't really do anything. Ah, can't be bothered. I, got I mean, un unless we... Unless we just wanted to steal his horse, which I do not want to do. We have our own. We can make it. There we go. It's not dropping too bad now. It is still dropping, though, curiously enough. Did not expect that. I really hope Joy got her breakfast, because if not, it's been sitting out in the cold for like... 20, 20, 30 minutes. We're already here. It wasn't even that bad a trek. Oh, but now the question is, can we even, can we even fit this on Tennessee's back? I think so. Maybe? Stow? Oh yeah, we can. There we go. I, st I still have no clue what we even are supposed to be doing with these. That's fine. Here's what I'll do. I will head back to... Head back to camp. Head back to Horseshoe Overlook. Um... Actually, you know what? We can't really get a bath at Horseshoe, can we? <laughs> I wonder if we should just head back to Valentine. We need to pay off our bounty. You know what? That's like... That really should be higher priority, I think. Gunsmith. Saloon. Post office. What's up with this, uh, what's up with this exclamation point by the post office? You know what? Let's go that way. Yep. Hey, sir. Hey, mister. Oh, he does not care. That's fine. He's doing his own thing. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. What do you mean? Not a thing happens around here without an Odrisco saying so. Understand me? You really shouldn't rile me. Ain't wise. You'll be meeting the Reaper! Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. All right. Not down for, not down for the banter. I understand. Not everybody is. They probably didn't follow me, right? Oh, they are totally following me. Oh, my God. Okay, well... I guess we, we gotta get out of town if they're gonna be causing trouble like that. I do not have it in me to start a firefight in the middle of Valentine right now. I got errands to run. Okay. I think they gave up. They gave up. Cowards. Perfect. Alright. Tennessee. Uh, we gotta find you a place to... We gotta find a place to hit you. Oh, hey. Sorry. 
Tennessee's a little riled up. You gotta understand. Can I? I didn't even hit you there. Hitch? What is up with the the hitch command? Just doesn't always come up when it should. I feel like. Yeah, here we go. I gotta maybe. I gotta maybe be a lot slower. Okay. Wow. Let's check the post office. Apparently, we have some business here or something. There's an exclamation point, so I figure it should be worth checking out. Hello there. Pleased to see you. Hi. Oh, this is where we pay our bounty. Happy to help you start over. Yes. Perfect. New Hanover. Yeah, we'll pay. We'll pay Maybe this you one. Ought to do some more praying. Uh, no thanks. So that train got robbed up in the Grizzly? Thanks, partner. Oh. No, 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 no. Talk to me. No, please, please. Tell me. Oh my god, I walked away for like two seconds. What if I just sit here and stare at him like that? <laughs> like, no, <go. laughs> You gonna say something? Come on. He wants to. He wants to so badly. No, he's just got this weird idol pose. Hey. <laughs> okay. I guess that's what that exclamation point means. I guess it just means there's like something we can do there. Alright. Well, now what? I don't know. What? Oh, oh no, that was his horse. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I actually, I actually had no, I completely did not realize that was his horse. What are you talking about? Unarmed assault. He assaulted me. It's a break free. No, 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 no. What do you mean disturbing with these? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. I really, I just got myself into a lot of trouble and I literally just paid off my bounty on the way out from paying off my bounty. Hey. Hey, surrender, okay, surrender, surrender. One move. Okay. It's frontier justice. I'm surrendering. Okay, I know you don't want to cause a fuss. Just come along. I'm coming. No, no, no. We'll so, you know, I'll, gotta say. I'll take the licks. Oh my god. That was that really could have gone so much better. I just completely Man, I just I just royally screwed that up. I just I just got on the wrong horse and then all that happened. Insane. All right, what do we lose? OK, we still have our pelts, it looks like on Tennessee right there. Morning. Four dollars. That ain't a problem. Hello. Hey, that actually wasn't too bad. Just stayed overnight. Not too big a deal. Don't start no more crap around here. Sorry, you must be talking about someone else. Listen, you won't get no trouble out of me. Uh huh. So, don't worry. See ya. <laughs> I love the conversation system in this game. There's um, there's something you can do. I believe it's like you you press greet twice and then antagonize and you can get some really funny conversations out of it. Uh, you, Mister, excuse me. What about morning? I like you, Mister. You have a kind face. The kind I like to punch. 
What'd you say to me? <laughs> it's all good. Calm down. Yeah, you, you get that kind of stuff with the greet, greet antagonize. That's so fun. Okay. Uh, well, I actually need to be getting some stuff done today, including uh, producing this very episode I'm recording right now to hopefully post tonight. Um, just like I said, we'll just call this a bit of a test run. Let me know if uh, y'all want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2. I certainly am interested in doing more. I'm very much enjoying this game. I'd love to do more story stuff, more open world stuff. Uh, so if this is the vibe for y'all, let me know. Um, and otherwise, I will be uh, either way working on uh, more, uh, you know, just like various other Midnight Snap games in the near future, um, including hopefully Paper Mario still. I do still really want to do Paper Mario. I know that was like my promise, like next big like Midnight Snap series, but uh, that just became a weird situation where like I recorded some of the first episode and then I just got into a bit of a rut, you know, I just got into a bit of a rut where like it um just wasn't really speaking to me, not the game itself. It was just the idea of recording the game. I just lost like all motivation for it, but I do still really want to play it because the bit that I played, um, I would start from the beginning, like recording it, uh, but I did play a little bit already initially and I was really liking it. So no, no, not to disparage the game at all by saying that I lost interest. It was just a weird kind of, it was a weird time for me. Uh, and it still has been, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. So, uh, yeah. And if not Paper Mario, then I'll be testing out some other games. Um, I want to definitely get a couple more one-offs down because those are a bit easier to organize. Uh, you know, easier than like juggling a bunch of long series, which is something I'm famously bad at. So, uh, hopefully, uh, you'll just see... Hopefully you'll just see a wider variety soon. Uh, I would like to get just like a nice solid group of episodes done. Um, and I got some in the works right now that I am very excited about. Um, otherwise, though, just uh, keep me posted with all your feedback. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Uh, those of you who have been. Uh, and thank you for being patient with me. I really have appreciated all your support and all that. So. Uh, more red dead is totally up to y'all's interest so let me know otherwise uh hey sweet dreams i'll see you soon <laughs>